NNPC refineries generate zero revenue, pay workers 69 billion naira. Workers at the government owned refineries were paid a total of 69.07 billion naira last year, even as the plants generated zero revenue as they did not process a single barrel of crude oil. The refineries com- suffered a combined loss of 108.29 billion naira in 2020, compared to 162.22 billion naira in the past year. According to data collected from their audited financial statement released by the NNPC, Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, on Wednesday, the plants which are located in Port Harcourt, Kaduna, and Wari have a combined installed capacity of 445,000 barrels per day but have been in state of disrepair for many years. Cardona Refinery and Petrochemical Company reported a loss after tax of 55.77 billion naira last year. But Alcott Refinery Company recorded 28.67 billion naira loss. And Worry Refining and Petroleum Company posted a loss of 23.85 billion naira. Salaries, wages, and other fringe benefit paid to Cardona Refinery workers fell to 26.02 billion naira in 2020 from 34.52 billion naira in the previous year. Portacourt Refinery puts its aggregate payroll cost, wages, salaries, allowances, redundancy, and pension cost at 22.55 billion naira, up from 18.62 billion naira a year earlier. Worry Refinery said, its aggregate cost of employees comprising direct labor cost and indirect labor and staff welfare cost dropped to 20 billion 20.51 billion naira last year from 30.86 billion naira in 2019 for the year 2020 the company did not earn any income through shutdown of the plant and the ongoing turnaround maintainers says kaduna refinery petrochemical company According to the financial statement, the company relies on the short-term funding from NNPC to meet its obligations as at when due. Although the funding arrangement is short-term in nature, the directors based on historical patterns and continued discussions with the parent believe that funding will be available for at least the next one year, it said. PHRC, Port Harcourt Refinery Company, said that the 28.67 billion naira loss it incurred last year arose principally from the inability of the company to refine a single drop of crude in the year 2020 and other previous years in quantities and at rates above its break-even point. Hence, it was unable to earn enough revenue to cover its costs. However, the parent company NNPC is committed to continuing to support the sustenance of its operation through adequate funding. The company noted, noted that federal government had approved the sum of $1.5 billion to rehabilitate the aging plant towards productive and profitable use. According to PHRC, the NNPC provided $107.86 billion naira as of December 2020 to the company under a funding arrangement that is interest-free. An amount of $448 billion naira is due from the company to the NMPC as of December 2020 and $361 billion naira in year 2019 under this agreement, it said. Let's look at what some people said below in the comment section. How can a company not making money be paying salary? How did they get the money? Can the staffs be moved to relevant ministry or company in the same field? Hmm. I also wonder too. Another person said, for how long do we want to remain wasteful? Well, if you have anything to say concerning this news, comment down below. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.